Hello, Kevin. I finally will show you how I make my uh, basalt uh, cones based on the work of uh, Yannick van Doorn because I learned everything uh, I'm trying to replicate from that guy and here is the D3 printer I use for the molds this one I buy from uh, Yannick and these ones I make myself and it's actually very easy the only hard part is the part of the cones and the first one this one I bought from Yannick but I had a little bit trouble with it wobbling if you put it in there in here it can go always so I saw somebody, I don't know if it's a video from Unique he made the cones with that so I asked somebody to design me a drawing for the printer I started printing these as you can see these are stable printer just finished uh, three of the cones I can uh, add uh, the STL file for the drawing in this topic also you can also make just the small cones also copy that just from Yannick they also have the effect a little bit easier to make and to spread out a bigger one, smaller ones I do that with basalt, sand, water, cement and for this one I'm gonna use the red color like those is uh, natural iron oxide the red color there are some other colors for if people want other colors You can find those with the natural stores for plastering the walls. That's where I got mine here in Holland. It's a little bit difficult to find, but there are sources, at least in Holland. These cones also have a crystal inside, in the spiral, quartz crystal, the pink version. I usually put them around here. I will show that later. The cones, if you want to use them and pour your concrete uh, of your basalt mixture in there, they will get stuck. I noticed that the hard way. I found somebody online who said he uses uh, coconut oil to put in the molds. I tried it myself with this one still need to remove the coconut oil and this one but they still stuck to the mold I had to cut open the molds to get the towers out some are destroyed so that was a no-go for me before and now again I do it with these is a sort of carton but I think it has a special finish I got it from the hardware store also the people who plaster the walls use this to put on the floor so they don't damage the floors usually comes in a roll or in a bigger one you know, I just bought a roll so I'm set for life and these you will twist and put in and then it's very easy to get them out when it's uh, dry after one two days you just take this out and unwrap it and you have your uh, your cone and I will show you later how I do it with those with the towers it's basically the, the same you can do it with just a standard pipe I think this the diameter is 10 centimeters you just cut them but it's a little bit tricky to get them out but it, you need to push it a little bit but as you see it's not completely completely round so if you have a 3d printer anyways I printed these in two halves it's a little bit easier and it's perfectly round 
and just put it in the big buckets. I'm fortunate to have an electric drill, otherwise you have to do it by hand. And I'll put the phone away. Make a new movie, how I make it is very easy. It's actually very easy. You just mix everything, put everything in the bucket. Add all your water because sometimes you don't have the measurements exactly and it's too wet. Making the cones, I already did this one. The tube or the pipe, I will use tape to hold it together. And this one is already filled up for half. I think the crystal is somewhere around here. And one thing you may need to make sure that if you just throw it in, you get it like that. But if you just fill it up like that, you get the, the holes. You need to have to make sure to get the air out. You can do it with your fingers or with the crystal. See it will liquefy. And then you throw on more. And you can do it like this again. It's very easy with the cones. With this one's a little bit more tricky to go in so I have like a stick I will go into the thing I will make sure to hold it with your other hand otherwise it will fall over you can start again believe me so yeah that's it I just uh, fill up uh, my cones till my mixture is uh, finished and usually I will fill up the the last cone with what I have is a little bit bigger. I make a little bit bigger cones. But this time I will do, I have some old basalt here. And I will make it one bucket full of basalt. That uh, should also work. So a side experiment with the leftovers. But yeah, that's uh, basically it. And to make the smooth towers, I use the basalt powder. It took me uh, a while to get it, because in Holland they don't sell this. And first I had an address in Belgium. He also used it for the paramagnetic value. He sprayed it on the big fields, but it's like the gravel. It's very fine, but still gravel. And if you make a tower, they look like this, a little bit more rugged. And this has no uh, iron oxide, of course. It's just uh, without any added coloring. But I prefer uh, this. This one I got from Germany. That was one of the tricky parts to find the proper source of basalt with a high paramagnetic value. And this one I found uh, on the website of Janik. Janik sells these also. And I saw the company, I looked it up, it was in Germany, so I got in my car and a van and bought a thousand kilos of that, it was a lot cheaper. So that's basically how I uh, make the little towers. It's now been 24 hours since I made these ones. The cones. I will leave in there for a couple more days, so they are really hard. 
It looks hard now, but if I take them out now, I will have this problem. That the sides will uh, damage too much. So I'll leave those in for a couple more days. The towers, I can take those apart outside. One second. the towers I can take the cone off so they can dry a little bit better and these needs yeah two three more days to be sure so they don't damage so that's this part It's now been three days since uh, I bought this one, and now I'm comfortable enough to, uh, to open one up so it can dry even further. Here's a tower. And this will be one of the cones. This is very easy. Yes. And we have a perfectly cone. So these are the three towers I made, unboxed. See some little air pockets were in there. This one came out better. It's just the aesthetic part. It's not so nice. I prefer them when they are smooth. So I should have uh, vibrated more with my stick. The lesson. Best is mechanical, but I haven't figured out yet what to use. And these are the cones. They also came out pretty well. And it is, this is the angle that's important. That's the 51.8 angle. They use in the pyramids and in the Irish round towers.